Well, hey there. You got a right sorrowful look on your face, Moo. Well, Miss Lily, it ain't been my day. And I was kind of figuring today would be memorable. What? Anything special going on? Well, now that you ask, it's been... Uh, say, Dakota, this is a, a real good time to fix that saddle of yours. Uh, oh, yep. So long, everybody. Uh, adios. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, you were saying, Moo. Well, nothing much. Just that today is... Oh, sorry, Moo. You know, these glasses need washing up before the dinner crowd arrives. Congratulations, Moo. Ten years on the job today. Problem is, nobody seems to care. Maybe I should hang up my star, Cyclone. I don't think I'm making a difference. Darling, I, I'm sorry. I was just practicing my fishing and, well... <laughs> Don't pay no mind, Sheriff. At least I know the fish will be safe when you retire. Now eat up. Mm -mm. You're just too good to me, darling. I don't know why some lucky bull hasn't swept you off your hooves years ago. The right bull never asked. Gunfire. Sheriff, Sheriff, you ain't gonna believe it. Oh, we've got some real outlaws in town. It's bad blast a gun in this gang. Never thought they'd come to Miller Glen. Things could get a little messy here, boys. Yeah, not early. Now take your sister home right quick. Hold it right there. You're all under arrest. He's all yours, Beth. Let me go! Not till you learn to be friendly to strangers. <clears throat> Start cranking, Gil. Get away! <laughs> you boys don't know who you're messing with. Oh, yeah, you ain't no Santa Claus, I know that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you are one soggy T-bone steak. Shame on you. Let the poor bull down right this minute. What do we have here? A heifer with a big mouth? Maybe we ought to shut it for her. <laughs> shut it for her. Do that, and you'll have to answer to us utterly. Sid, show them what we think of that. Those Joes are bad news. You don't have to tell me. Frank, Beans, there's only one bull who can help us. Marshal! Marshal Moon! Oh! Oh! Ah! Special delivery. Oblige, Jack. Dear Moo, please come to Miller Glen. Sheriff T-Bone needs your help urgently. Yours always, Bessie Bluebell. Hmm, Bessie. Oh boy, oh boy. Sounds important. Any response? <laughs> Marshal? <laughs> I'm sorry, Colorado. I just never made cornbread this big before. But it'll be worth it to see Moose Face at the surprise party. Now, you didn't let on you knew about his anniversary, did you? No, but maybe we should have. Moose gone to some place called Miller Glen. He didn't even say goodbye. I don't suppose he's upset at us. Miller Glen? Well, well that's Moo's hometown. <laughs> Moo learned everything he knows from the sheriff there. The good bull's name was Sheriff T-Bone. The 
good sheriff taught the young Moo about riding and all the things that go with being a real good cowboy, like shooting. <laughs> Moo just idolized Sheriff T-Bone. And in return, T-Bone treated Moo just like a son. Moo holds a special place in his heart for Miller Glen and for the folks there. Howdy. Anybody home? Uh... Marshal Montana? Frank? Beans? I reckon it is. Mind if I ask you what you're all doing under there? Hiding from Bat Blastagun. His gang could ride in here any minute. Come on, Sheriff T-Bone's gonna be happier than a pig in slop to see you. What? Moo? Moo Montana? Guilty as charged. Yeah! Ah! Oh, <laughs> it's look good, good to see you, son. You oh, I tell you, you are a sight for sore eyes. Yes, you are too. Well, Moo, I'll tell you, that blaster gun and his hoodlums done shot the place up, and I couldn't do a darn thing to stop him. Townsfolk should have put me out to pasture long ago. T-Bone, there's no finer sheriff on the mesa. Watching you help folks is what made me want to be a marshal. Now you flatter me, son. Listen. Bat and his gang are coming back. I know I can't keep Miller Glenn safe, but you can. Moo, why don't you stay on and replace me as sheriff? Me? Why not? We need you. You'd be making a big difference here. 